eventuality enshrines the rhythm of this rising tide. Lending lyrics to the melody of moss bearing trees, while festooned in the mosaic of a zillion bursting with blue. There are moonstruck moments when the whispering of the marsh sings praises to the coupling between land and sea, asking how many mysteries of this existence does the river contain? Might the soil contain, might we poetically proclaim in words as well as shadows? And whose bones, like Tavi, infuse the aggregate of this foundation? Towering charms, casting enchantments, such that no devastation shall ever despoil this village indebted to the sea. Encroach upon this tidal river rising, devouring all duplicities whole. And so I give you blank page poetry, words and shadows, if ever these rivers should speak. project is blank page poetry, words and shadows. These rivers of truth have a long way yet. Poetry. Paints dotted lines down the middle. Did you know South Carolina school children are my own? A cloth that blocks the light. For shotgun glass, then down to let it fly. See, I'm no duck. <laughs> The project is fascinating um, and beautiful. And it's really important that you have it down because uh, the idea is that you're free to give your body to further expression of what those words, the meaning and the power in those words. It's made me think about poetry in a different way. Putting more emotion behind um, reading the poem, not just simply giving it reading. And they're about issues that are um, of uh, sociological, cultural, political relevance to a community. Um, so I arrive on scene basically in the same way that I arrived here, which is to find out what the story is. They were not used to performing in a very uh, dramatic kind of way. It took me my whole life to put that poem together. <laughs> Poems are going to stand on their own with their own sounds and silence. And I'll be doing the same thing, but with musical instruments in between. We have literally asked them to open their souls, talk about their experiences, talk about very personal experiences. An uh, artist friend of mine said this before about sometimes I just wish people would move out of the way and let the artist. Just as why, in case something sounds honky. <laughs> they might sound like a duck talking for a while. Well, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 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 Help is sometimes the difference between a smile and a long sigh. A sigh and a long line that has no end. While I remake friends with those who've been in the same clothes 
since the sky opened up. A kind of lovely symmetry between what the language is doing in your ear and what the movements are doing in your eyes. Focus on that festering flag, quick to take it down, move forward, move on. These aren't the same. After weeks of heat, it rained the day the governor said to take it down. Are we somehow different now? How would we know? I think the main impetus for it is that uh, I started thinking about cavemen and you know they're not extinct. I'd, I'd like to think of myself as a sophisticated caveman or maybe a domestic caveman. Always the long straightaway, always the cop, the stick, with the hand on top. If not the cop, the F-150 bent in the rear, the tractor, the blinding rain. And the thing is, you can't go slow on these roads. Can't ride with the windows down. They're not built for weekended travel. That's what curves are for. And the shadow has really freed me um, in, in the sense where I, I don't think I would be doing this if, if I was on stage just with the audience just looking at me. The shadow uh, it will help lead the point and, it's, and it does it in a mysterious way, so I love it. It's inspired by my, my personal history, South Carolina history, and um, my experiences as, as an educator in South Carolina. Minimally adequate is a standard we bear on our backs where pitchfork bend and Dixie Crack Strom have monuments to their names. But the slaves who bricked the horseshoe at USC remain nameless. But not faceless, since their faces are my own. And I just think it's part of our duty as artists to reflect our times, to reflect our experiences, and to say something about the place and time that we are in. So all of a sudden, poetry has become um, the end all be all for me, <laughs> which is interesting. You know, it's, you never know what your the path of your career is going to bring you. So it's always good to be f exposed to something new. Yes, we, the word sharks of thoughts that can find no rest, of the colonials' undignified quest, of plantations vying for slaves. Now, yes, encroach upon these mansions of time-honored ways with the force of rivers overflowing their bounds, unleashing a rising and transformative flood. These rivers of change have yet a long way while we in their service claim yet another day. And so Columbia, I give you blank page poetry, words and shadows. These rivers of truth have a long way. <laughs>